Hello everyone. Today is Wednesday, August 1st. It's 3.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's just about 30 seconds before the regular session closes. On my right is my computer clock and you can see the date and the time and on my left is the time and sales for the evening S&P looking to close at around 28.13.50. Okay, first up is the DAX on the Superenco 14 tick, and this is the one with the higher daily goal of 3,500 and a loss limit of 2,000, and this did 33.87, so just shy of its goal. It probably hit its goal, but when we hit our goal, we execute a market order. Otherwise, we use a limit order. As you can see here, it's a limit order with a pullback of four ticks, and you can see the close of the bar. Uh, we got a split fill here. This cannot happen in market re replay. All our videos are recorded on live data uh, throughout the day, and uh, but but in a simulated account. I can't tr possibly trade live all the different charts that I show. I show different charts, different bar types, different time frames to show the versatility of the auto trader. Okay, this is the DAX with the $2,000 goal, and this is slightly different settings. Uh, it's the same limit order, but we have a $2,000 goal, and I think our money management is slightly different. Okay, so this is good. I've never showed this before. Uh, so here's the difference between the uh, Super Echo with the higher daily goal. We have a 70 tick profit target as the first target versus 50 on the $2,000 daily goal. Uh, the stop loss is the same, but that's kind of irrelevant because it's going to get stopped out if it, uh, on a trade if, it, if we get a reversal. So these are not likely 75 ticks. Uh, and then we uh, are trailing by 40 ticks here uh, by one bar. And here we're requiring 100 ticks tr profit to trail by zero bars. So we have definitely a uh, different money management. This chart with the $2,000 goal and a 1500 loss limit, this is much more conservative as we're taking profits earlier and trailing the stops earlier. So completely different kind of money management, and that's why I show them both, uh, as there's a number of ways to uh, set up the auto trader to your own personal preferences. Okay, next up is the DAX on 150 Heiken Ashi tick chart. And this hit its goal of 2,500, I believe. It's 2,550 here, so we had a couple tick slippage. But this definitely hit its goal. The loss limit here is 1,500, so this is a pretty good ratio, win loss ratio of 3 to 2. And. Um, our typical pattern here, back to back, short and long trade, and then short again. So pretty typical kind of movement, uh, kind of volatility on these charts. Again, note the indicator signals looking uh, pretty good here, catching the swings. And the auto trader basically automates the uh, taking of these signals, as you can see here. On this chart, we use a limit order with a pullback of four ticks. And uh, this 150 Heiken Ashi chart has been quite consistent. We've seen it a lot. OK, the NASDAQ on a regular eight Renko chart with a higher time frame filter of Super Renko 10. This did uh, 1650 for the day, and the goal was uh, 1750. So it probably hit its goal and had some slippage. Okay, next up is the DAX on a 377 tick Heiken Ashi chart, a little faster, less bars than the 150 tick. This did 1500. So on this one, I have kind of a conservative setup. Uh, again, a 3 to 2 uh, win loss ratio, 1550 daily goal to 1000 loss limit. And this hit its goal and then had a couple of ticks of slippage. Okay, next we have the crude oil on a Superenco 8 tick. And this chart's been doing well for us. This did $1,000 today. This is using our line break logic. You can see the line break signals here. And our daily goal on this is 1,000. So 
we hit our daily goal with no slippage. Okay, next is the E-mini S&P on a Super Anko 6 tick. And this is trading three contracts. And this did 1,012 for the day. Our goal on this is 1,000. And we have profit targets at 20 and 40 ticks. And so this hit its daily goal with one tick of positive slippage. Okay, this is the crude oil on a 150 Heike and Ashy chart. And there's no trades here because I just wanted to show the indicator signals. This was after trading was finished. And if I kind of back up, uh, indicator signals looking really good. If you don't want to spend the money on the auto trader, the indicators are far less and can provide you really great signals. Okay, uh, this did 9.30 for the day. Here's, here's the trades here. There was a loser here and a couple of winners. And the goal on this is uh, $1,000. So this uh, was just shy of its goal. It probably hit its goal and had some slippage. Okay, this is the uh, Precision Ranko 8150. I haven't showed this in a while because we are going to discontinue the Precision Ranko bars in NinjaTrader 8, but I'm having second thoughts about that. This particular chart has been really consistent. I, I've actually been tracking it for a few days. It's been very consistent. It's won probably three of the last four days, and I haven't shown it. I just wanted to see if it's still as consistent, and today it did 980. And I think we have a goal of a thousand here, so we had a couple of ticks of slippage. Instead, I've been showing the Superenko uh, eight tick, and that's been pretty consistent as well. But uh, the Precision Renko chart is it trades slightly different than the Superenko chart, and it makes for a nice looking chart as you're using our line break logic. And so I'm going to keep this in the mix. Okay, I've said it before. I'll say it again: a regular Renko chart. Not a custom Renko chart, but just the regular Renko that comes with NinjaTrader has tremendous potential when used with the Auto Trader and higher time frame filters such as this. This is, once again, the E-mini S&P on a 5 Renko chart with the higher time frame filter of a 6 Renko. And we have a modest goal on this of 750 which is, uh, this is only trading two contracts, so that's basically 350 a 375 a contract. This had two winners and hit its goal and probably had one tick of slippage with our market order when we hit our goal. Okay, the gold contract, uh, not really stellar gains, but respectable gains of 620 on two trades here. This has been a very consistent chart over the life of, you know, three years of our videos that we've been showing this. Um, for those of you that think about using the auto trader with top step trader, uh, this is a good chart to probably trade with top, top step trader. You might have to spend some time tweaking your settings, and uh, but this is a good place to start right here. Anyway, this did 620 for the day on two trades. Okay, the Russell on a 500 hike and Ashy did 285. So far, this seems to be the most consistent chart on the, rough, the three or four Russell charts I'm following and just had a loser here and probably didn't get filled on our limit order here and then uh, we had this long trade so still on the plus side of the ledger uh, it's a limit order with a four tick pullback and the goal is 1200 so that's all for today's video thanks for watching